Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. Uh, this is a, a video three in a series of videos concerning the Wacom Art Pen and how to use it inside of Painter 12. Okay, as a review, I'd like to remind you of uh, one thing that I said early on and it's really important. When you're working with a brush that doesn't have any rotation added to it, the variant is without rotation, the art pen defaults to work exactly like the grip pen. So the art pen can actually replace the grip pen. The reverse is not true, however. The grip pen cannot replace the art pen. So if you wanted to have one or the other, it would be better to work with the art pen than it would be to work with the grip pen. As a matter of fact, I usually work with the art pen a lot uh, mainly when I'm working privately because when I'm working on, on camera most people have the grip pen and so I want to use what most people have. But I tend to grab my art pen and work with it because it's going to work exactly like the grip pen <clears throat> if there's no rotation involved. Okay, so and also at the last video we were working with uh, this particular variant, the dull grainy chalk, which has a depth type of circular. And when we changed the angle to rotation, it didn't make any difference to the brush. So what's all that about? Well, I can tell you now that if we hit on the drop down, uh, the dab type and click on the drop down arrow so that we can see the list, the first five dab types, circular, single pixel, static bristle, captured, and eraser, and the very last dab type, which is computer circular. Those six dab types are uh, early, the, uh, the way the brushes were first made in Painter and the way they're made in Photoshop today. What that means is you have a dab, a single dab that's placed on the, down on the computer as you're uh, brushing across, and then you have a second dab placed, and a third dab, and a fourth dab, and a fifth dab, and a sixth dab. So as you're going across, these dabs are being laid down, single dabs, and they cover each other so that you get a smooth stroke. Okay, none of those will work for rotation. So what will work for rotation? Well, what will work for rotation is any variant that uses a dab type that has camel hair, flat, or bristle spray in the name. So camel hair, flat, bristle spray, um, watercolor camel hair, watercolor flat, and even uh, blend camel hair and blend flat. All of those will work with rotation. So if that's the case, let's go to a different brush. Let's go to flat oils. Okay, now when I go to flat oils, I'm sort of surprised to see that the dab type is camel hair. I would have expected um, it to be flat. And there it is, it is flat, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I had not changed the, I had been playing with it, and I had not reset it. So I just reset it. Now when we go to flat oils, we're seeing that the dab type is flat, and the angle is bearing. So I'm not going to be able to get rotation with this brush under this circumstance. So let's take it and change this to rotation. Now when I change it to rotation, I've got the ability to change the barrel. And if I paint, look, I'm painting and using uh, rotation. That's cool. So what if I take it and change it to camel hair? Now I'm still with rotation, but I'm back to this round brush and it's not going to give me any rotation as a round brush but I have no option here to do squeeze or anything like that. So now what's our next hang up? We can see that flat can be used but camel hair 
and bristle spray don't seem to work with rotation. Okay, as a matter of fact, when you go to bristle hair, bristle spray, I don't even have the option to change rotation. And when I go to camel hair, I do have the option to change to rotation. So let's stop here and we'll come back and see if we can figure out what else is at play other than just rotation, camel hair, bristle spray, and flat. All right. Bye-bye.